Hello Capricorn. The strangest thing just happened. I was recording a video. I got about 13, 31 minutes. And then it just stopped on me. <laughs> so, <laughs> I know, right? Well, anyway, let's see if we can't do this again. Again, I'm playing around with things, changing things around. So unfortunately, you can either see me or you can see the cards. That's just the only way that YouTube rolls with it. YouTube likes this format. I don't like this format, but that's what YouTube goes with. So because of that, either you're 10 feet across the room so you can see everything, or you get a close up of me and I can show you the cards as they come out. This is the way that I like to do it. Okay, <laughs> so here we go. All right, in doing this, uh, yeah, cause I think I'm gonna get a new camera. I think I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get a few different things. I have to, so update some stuff. Anyway, with that being said, anything in this reading that is confusing to you, let that part of it go. That's not yours, okay? Anything that makes no sense, it's not yours, let it go. We tend to forget, we get so consumed in our own lives that we forget that we have other people in our world Neighbors, friends, brothers, people on the bus stop. You walk to the store, the gas station. Sometimes the things that we say could be their thoughts or their feelings. There's other people that exist on this planet and just want to come out in this reading. So if there's anything that's confusing, chances are it could be something that they're thinking or feeling. The reason why you're confused is because it's not you. <laughs> okay. So take that into consideration. All right, so with that being said, let's get started. All right. So, all right, what do we have for Capricorn? Huh. Devil. I'm not taking all these as too many. Five of Wands. Two of Wands. We're putting all these back. It's too many. Too many popped out. Okay, so what's going on with Capricorn? There it is again. She came out in the last reading. Oh. Oh. None of this came out though. Okay. There is someone here. This is an empress. Okay. This could be a single mother or whatever. Okay. I'm getting she. This is definitely a she. Okay. It's a female energy, okay? Now, there could be somebody who has maybe gone through some sort of a separation or some sort of an ending with another person. Somebody has been kicked out. Could it be somebody's husband or something like that? Maybe somebody, um, they haven't uh, lived up to the expectations. Maybe they thought that this person that they were dealing with was an emperor. Turns out they were only a king of cups. You know, close but no cigar, all right? Now, they, could they have children with this person? Absolutely. Or it could be that fact that, you know, maybe this person is, um, maybe they had known each other for a long time. Maybe they were high school sweethearts. Okay, that's what you got. Nine of Cups. Maybe somebody wants to go back to being a bachelor. Somebody wants to go back to being, somebody wants to, Somebody wants to get back out on the market. Maybe they've been together too long and they're like, you know what, this is kind of like done. Why don't we go and try to find happiness elsewhere while we still have time left? Okay. Could be. Four ones. Very interesting. Somebody definitely could be still connected with a spouse. They could be living with a spouse or they could just still be connected in relationship with spouse or partner. Maybe they can't really afford to give up the, um, the position. So they're deciding to 
both step out of the marriage. Okay? Could be. Could be just one. All right? Somebody could be taking a trip and meeting other people. left and met with somebody else. Interesting. Now. Huh. Hold on. Could you have been with somebody who somebody could have been getting to know another person they could have stopped seeing somebody abruptly and went with somebody that they've known for a long time now that could be somebody who maybe you had been seeing. They could either choose to go back to their spouse or go back to somebody that they've known since their childhood or maybe even a friend that they've known most of their life. So this is giving me something as far as a resemblance of you start dating somebody. Hey, that person could have even started seeing you. They could have been chasing you. And then what happened is uh, the slightest doubt or maybe, okay, it's like this. You could have been friends with, not you. Okay, just uh, bear with me. This is giving somebody who's been friends with somebody for a very long time. This came up in another reading recently. Okay. I can't remember who, I can't remember the zodiac sign, but it's like somebody who's always had a crush on their friend and they never said anything. I don't know. I can't remember who this was. They never said anything. And then when the crush starts seeing somebody else, they start seeing somebody new and they're like, oh, this person could be like a forever person. Then that spineless friend who was cowardice that probably had a crush on that person when they were a friend for many, many years was like, hey, I like you. I, and then they kind of like, and then this person went off with the friend because it could have been more convenient or something that they knew or that they were familiar with. Or maybe the friend did something to sabotage. That's what you got. I do have something like that. So this person went with somebody that they were familiar with. Interesting. I can't remember who that was. Five of Pentacles. I could have left a really, really good one. Out in the cold. So, this is literally the same storyline as somebody else. I can't remember. I can't think of who it was. It's literally the same storyline. So if you're curious, this is literally the same storyline as somebody else. If you're curious as to why somebody maybe left abruptly and they didn't give you full reason or tell you anything, that's why. Somebody went back to something that was familiar to them. Somebody sabotaged something. Okay. All right. It's very possible that this person, I don't know that this is what it is, but sometimes people will do certain things to make other people jealous, to make them chase. So they'll use other people to kind of like make another person jealous to get that person to chase. Then when, that per when, they, when they get the, that person's attention, then they kick the other person to the curb. All right. 
I know a lot of people always like to, you know, act like the Empress is perfect. She's not perfect. She's not perfect. None of these characters are perfect because they're all, they all take after human characters. They all have a res reverse position. They're all capable of doing evil acts. They can look really, really good. But no one is all loving, all perfect. They're modeled after humans. Humans are flawed. Okay? All right? We tend to forget that. Three hazards, ace of hazards. Four cups. Nine of cups. You know what? Somebody's better off. They're better off without that person, without that empress. Somebody might really, really think very, very highly of this person. They might have a good idea that this person is perfect, all loving, all knowing. This person has some dirt in their closet. And I have a really good feeling that you're going to find out. You might have thought this person was perfect. And you know, they probably are a really good person. They could be. But you could be finding out that this person is flawed like the rest of us. And Eight of Swords. Eight of Hazards. Oh, it's two of them. The World. Ten of Wands. Something didn't go quite so well. And I feel like it's going to be coming back around. So you could definitely be getting word or finding out. So let's say somebody gets jealous. So let's say something didn't go very well with that other person and they want to come back or let's say you know sometimes people want to do certain things to kind of like hurt or you know stick it to another person maybe the other person wants to come back and kind of rub something in yeah she left me she's in my bed you know or something like that it could be something's going to come back around and you're going to find out it could definitely be getting a message it could definitely be getting a message something about this you know, does it have to be that storyline? Absolutely not. How does it fit for you? Okay. How does this fit for you? It could be something a little bit different in this storyline. But the gist of it is there's somebody that is, somebody maybe thinks very, very highly of, and this person is flawed. I'm just going to put it that way. They're flawed. Okay. Yeah. I think I'm going to leave it there. Somebody may even feel a little bit of guilt and they want to let go of some kind of a heavy burden. Yeah, I do have something like that. Um, so nine of cups again, seven of cups. You know, I, I, I'm really going to go out on a limb here and say somebody really dodged a bullet. Somebody really dodged a bullet. I can't help but think that this person, look, thank you lovers. I can't help but think that this person maybe has children or family. So they're, it's like they're already conditioned a certain way. Does that make sense? So they're already hardwired to maybe treat you like you're not part of the family anyway. So you're always going to be an outsider anyway. Does that make sense? You're not technically you're not technically part of the family. So you're more or less going to get scraps anyway. I realize some people aren't going to like this message, but it's a fact of human nature. Either way, somebody will get answers and they'll be able to get the closure that they need. And maybe they'll be a little bit wiser. 
without thinking that somebody, you know, if they may look good or something about them may seem like the perfect partner. I think somebody's going to see things very, very differently. And they may actually have a taste or desire for somebody who is not so attached. I'm just going to leave it like that. <laughs> so don't kill the messenger. I'm <laughs> just the messenger. All right. So I'm going to leave it there. All right, Capricorn. I wish the message was better this week, but anyway. All right. Oh, oh, let me look at this lovers. Let me look at this lovers. Seven of Swords, and we had the Queen of, Queen of Hazards. Seven of Swords again. Yeah. Somebody's gonna find out. Somebody had a uh, secret lover. Seven of Swords again. Seven of Wands. Yeah. a Cancer or a Pisces energy. There was a secret person or a secret lover. Yeah, that's what it is. That's what it is. That's what it is. I'll tell you what, I, I'm seeing a lot of drama. I'm seeing a lot of fighting. Let me tell you something. Whoever, I keep seeing, yeah, I keep seeing a lot of, I keep seeing fight cards. I keep seeing it. It's just over and over again. So be careful about whoever this is. They could be bringing drama to your doorstep. Okay. However, I feel like whoever this is, uh, there's no peace in their house. <laughs> it was like a very, very big sacrifice. Now you could be coming in contact with a new person or a new lover. And I feel like this person might be like, oh, this person, I don't want them to get away. Okay. Same song and dance that a lot of times these energies come, come in to the storyline. And that's what this is. Okay. So that's what you got. This is going to be something that's coming up very, very soon within the next, I'm getting in the next couple months. Okay. Next two months specifically. We're going to be finding out some stuff. One month to two months. You're going to be finding out some very serious information. Okay. Somebody could be coming to dump some drama at your doorstep. Okay. Uh, you're going to be finding out about a secret lover. And you're also going to be most likely, most likely, a lot of you may be meeting somebody new. And once they find out that you've met somebody new, they're going to come barging in, okay? Because there's been nothing but fights with whoever it is that they segued into another relationship with. And it could, chances are, it could have been somebody from their past or somebody they've known for a long time. Somebody who was very, very spineless and cowardice, who, who never had the guts or the balls to tell them, <laughs> whether they're a male or a female, never had the balls to tell them, hey, I like you, until you came into the picture. And um, you were unaware. But you're going to find out. Okay. So, better late than never, right? All right. I'm leaving it there. I want you to do a thumbs up, please. Subscribe to the channel. And hit the notification bell so you're notified every time I upload a new video. That's it. Good luck. I'll see you next week.